The National Institute for Communicable Diseases says there is no direct evidence that links smoking with severe COVID-19 cases. However, in a Facebook conversation, which was broadcast live on the NICD's page, the Institute didn't rule out the possibility given tobacco's impact on the lungs. NICD Deputy Director Professor Lucille Bloomberg joins me now. Uh, Professor, very good morning. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, okay, so talk to us that uh, you found there is no no direct evidence linking smoking and chronic lung disease uh, with COVID-19. So I think let's put this in, in some context of, of the uh, COVID outbreak yeah. and uh, the available evidence. So I think it, it's very well documented that smoking is harmful to health. Many studies would support this. It causes lung pathology, heart problems, um, blood vessel problems, and a range of cancers. And these are studies that have been done over many, many years to establish the facts. When you look at uh, COVID-19, the impact of, a major impact of COVID is on the lung. And I think it makes reasonable sense to, to say that um, if you have lung damage from many causes, and this could include smoking, your reserves are reduced. And if COVID comes along and infects you, you're likely to have uh, more severe COVID. So that's the evidence. It's the indirect evidence. But when you, you, you oh, yeah. sorry, Carrie, okay. go, go ahead. Go ahead, Professor. Yeah. So when you want to look at associations of risk factors for more severe COVID, uh, you look at what's the available evidence. And for many of them, it's, um, it's something objective. So for blood pressures and hypertension and association, you can, you can measure the blood pressure. If it's uh, diabetes, and I think that's uh, it's a close association, a very definite association, you have the blood sugar to go on. Um, when you look at smoking, uh, you can ask a patient, do you smoke? You don't get a reliable history. Uh, either the question is not asked, patient is uh, you know, a, bit, a bit afraid to give you that history. So you don't get reliable information. So that's the direct observational Information. information that you have. I think uh, but, based but, but, on but, but, indirect, but, there's definitely an, a likely association. There's a likely, I wanted to talk about, there's a likely, yeah. there's a likelihood of something happening. Is that yeah. likelihood enough to institute a ban on tobacco for so long? So I think the ban on tobacco is a very different story. I think smoking, you're looking at a long-standing um, effect of, of smoking on lungs and causing damage. I think what's needed going forward, you know, this pandemic has gone very quickly. Um, there's a lot of uh, new information coming out it's to look more carefully uh, using additional studies at what would be the, um, the, the direct effect. You know, that would involve laboratory studies. It would be involved uh, post-mortem examination of lungs. It would involve... Um, you know, reviews of chest x-rays, yeah. and I think getting reliable histories from patients, which uh, is not always easy. Uh, okay, let's talk so about history. I think we need to really, really look at that. Okay, yeah. when it comes to history in patients and uh, the direct effect it may have, uh, surely we're talking about the effect, you know, the effect it has on a smoker's lungs. That takes a long, 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 long time to get to that particular stage. And what I'm trying to say here is you need to have been smoking for what, at least maybe five, ten years or so. And if you, the tobacco ban is instituted a, a, a few months ago, what difference does that make? I still have that same condition. I was smoking for the last 15, 10 years. You know, if, if, if I get infected by the virus, I'll, surely it's going to be the same result. Yeah. So, you know, I think that's, uh, that's the controversial question. Does um, smoking now affect lung function? Does it affect uh, the protective mechanism of the lung? We don't really know that. Uh, that's something that we need to establish. Okay, but I you... think they're quite separate. I think they're quite separate questions. Okay. Uh, does smoking uh, and does, um, do patients who smoke have more severe COVID? I think the indirect evidence would support that. Okay. If they stop smoking now, does that make a difference? I don't think we know that. Yep, there's a lot we don't know about the COVID-19, I suppose. Thank you so much, uh, Professor, for joining us. Professor Lucille Bloomberg there joining us on, on Skype uh, from the NICD.